High school robotics teams would typically be competing against each other this time of year, but instead two clubs in West Lynn Wilsonville School District have teamed up to help with the COVID-19 response. Yeah, our Fox host Brenna Kelly spoke with a couple of the people making this all happen. Brenna? Well, students along with volunteer mentors are making face shields, producing them on 3D printers at home. They're also teaming up with some local companies for some of the production and assembly. About a dozen students and several adult mentors from robotics teams at both West Lynn and Wilsonville high schools have already distributed 120 face shields. They've gone all over the community to OHSU, Salem Hospital, West Lynn and Wilsonville PD, Safeway and more. Amanda Hugh is the business leader on her team at Westland High. She says she's had all this downtime from school, so she feels fortunate to be making a difference in her community. You don't feel like you can do much as a student before uh, this project started. And um, now that it started, it feel really like you really feel like you can make an impact. Well, I'm really grateful that I have a platform and a team that help, helps me out um, and allows me to be able to be something this big. The enjoyment for, for us as adult mentors is we get the chance to work with the next generation of students who will become scientists, engineers, uh, whatever walk of life they're going to, to go through. But it gives us a, a way to build a community kind of outside of school, um, but also connected to the schools. Tim Bennington Davis, who you just heard from, is an engineer with Verizon. He's been a volunteer mentor for the last 16 years for Wilsonville High School's robotics team. Tim says it's the biggest impact their robotics team has ever made on the community. The students have had a lot of practice with this so far, and they're getting faster with their 3D printers. He says they're on track to turn out 240 more within the next week and a half. And the robotics team isn't limiting who they help. They've already shipped face shields to California, Indiana, and they're looking forward to finding more people they can continue to help in this time. For now, reporting live in Portland, Brenna Kelly, Fox 12 Oregon.